Which is relatively better, a 78 in a class where the average is 70 and the standard deviation is 6, or a 72 in a class where the average is 64 with a standard deviation of 5? In order to work this problem, we should probably use the z-score formula. Whenever we want to compare two students' test scores and make it a more fair comparison, we often use the z-score formula to do that. So what we want to do first is list the information. So we'll say student 1 versus student 2. Now for each person, we should have a test score, which we'll call x, a mean for the class, and a standard deviation. So x, mean, standard deviation. We should have that for each group, for each person. Okay, so let's start with student one. His score was a 78 in a class where the average was 70. So 78 where the average was 70, and a standard deviation was six. The other guy, student two, had a 72 in his class, where the average was 64, and the standard deviation was five. Okay, now at this point, we want to plug that information into the z-score formula, right? So remember, generically, the z-score formula is x minus the mean over sigma. So let's use that formula twice. Okay, so for student one, it's going to be 78 minus 70 over 6. That's going to be his z-score. Now that's a difference of 8. 8 divided by 6. If we reduce that, we end up with 4 thirds. And this is 1.3 repeating, right? 1.33, because that's 1 and 1 third. All right, now let's go for student 2. His score would be 72 minus the mean of 64, and then divide by the standard deviation of 5, right? Okay, so 72 take away 64. Again, that's a difference of 8, but it will now be 8 fifths. 5 goes into 8 evenly once with 3 fifths left over. So that's 1.60 as a decimal. Okay, so when I look at these two scores, I see that 1.6 is higher than 1.33. Even if it's just a little bit higher, it's still higher. So in this case, our winner is student 2. He's got the better grade, the better performance in the two classes.